A warm welcome to my channel. The topic for today's presentation is polymerase chain reaction or PCR for short. Polymerase chain reaction is a technique which is developed by Kerry Mullis in 1983. This technique helps an in vitro amplification of a DNA molecule or a gene. For a PCR to be successful, following things are required. First is the DNA molecule which is to be amplified. Second, deoxyribonucleoside triphosphates or DNTPs for short. DNTPs are the substrates which will be required for the amplification of the DNA molecule. The DNTPs are DGTPs, DCTPs, DATPs and DTTPs. Third are primers. These are synthetic oligonucleotides which are complementary to the region of amplification. And lastly, DNA polymerase, specifically TAC polymerase extracted from an Archaebacterium thermus aquaticus. Now the difference between a normal DNA polymerase and TAC polymerase is that a normal DNA polymerase will be easily denatured at high temperature in a thermocycler or PCR machine. Whereas since TAC polymerase is extracted from an Archaebacterium named Thermus aquaticus, it is thermostable and so it doesn't denature easily or it remains active at high temperature in a PCR machine. Now the procedure for PCR is as follows. <clears throat> so this is a double stranded DNA molecule and this is the region which is to be amplified. So for amplification both the strands of the DNA should separate from each other and for separation we heat the double stranded DNA molecule at 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. This separation of both the strands of a DNA molecule upon heating is known as denaturation. So the first step in a PCR cycle is denaturation. Second, we lower the temperature such that the two primers which are specific complementary to these regions get bind to them. This process of binding of primers to specific regions is known as annealing. So the first step is denaturation, second step annealing. After annealing the temperature is slightly increased and DNA polymerase starts adding deoxynucleotides or DNTPs resulting in the polymerization of the specific region. So after denaturation annealing and polymerization we get two DNA molecules from a single double stranded DNA molecule. This cycle is repeated approximately 30 times resulting in the amplification of the desired gene of interest or region to 1 billion times. The applications of PCR it helps in the amplification of a gene which is to be ligated in a vector so it can be used for cloning or expression. This technique is used to detect diseases like cancer, influenza, etc. It is also used to solve paternity disputes and to detect certain specific mutations. It is also used in sequencing a gene or genome. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.